So being an emergency goalie myself, this is kind of what my day looks like. In the face! Let's serve as an emergency goalie. Oh my God. Okay, all right. So today is a pretty big day for me actually. The Preds are playing the Minnesota Wild and it is the last game for me as an emergency backup goalie this year. And if you don't know what an e-bug is, don't worry, I'll explain that here in a little bit, but we gotta get the bag packed and head out to the ring. stands for emergency backup goalie and what that means is that every team is required to have someone in the arena who is available to serve as an emergency option for both home and away teams just in case there's any kind of goalie injury and teams need someone to fill that spot so being an emergency goalie myself this is kind of what my day looks like on Tuesday and Thursdays, I, I play with a pretty good group of guys in the mornings. Today, it looks like it's just gonna be me, my buddy Dino, who is an East Coast guy who lives here in town, and my buddy Connor McKenzie. And if you're familiar with Jim McKenzie, who used to play for the Preds, Connor is uh, his son. Of tonight's card, it is Jim McKenzie who once went to training camp with the Islanders against Eric Kerr. So I think we're just gonna end up jumping on the ice, probably running through some drills. Dino is really good at putting together some good skill sessions, so should be a good time jumping on the ice for that. But yeah, my day usually starts around 7 a.m. I usually knock out a pretty solid breakfast before uh, getting ready to head down the rink for this morning skate, which is kind of perfect on game days like this. It's nice to jump on the ice in the morning and get some work in and um, at least be kind of prepared for any kind of emergency situation. But like I said, it's just gonna be me and uh, a couple guys today. So I'm definitely have to stay hydrated, but let's get over to the rink and we will see you on the ice. All right, let's get things going. <laughs> fast chest, fastest chest in the league, they say. <laughs> in the face! I don't want face saves to be my specialty. Yeah, this is good. Good movement. I, I like this read out front, too. Overlap. I would have saved it. That might have been your best one yet. Yeah, <laughs> spoke too soon. Oh, there you go. Same spot. No way. Good save at the end, Bonesy. <sighs> Gotta look at the positive. Gotta look at the positive. Okay, I think I'm starting to feel it a bit now. Legs are tired. Legs are now officially tired. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it. Big stretch, big movement, big push. Yeah. I thought I got that. <sighs> Gotta close the legs faster. Frick. Nice, compact, patient. Big, solid push at the end. Oh, great stance for us. Good read, Bones. Let's do it again. Oh, baby. Let's get this big one. Yeah. Yes. That was the first good rip I had all day. That was, I felt good. Oh, baby. I don't know, what are you doing? Dude, fuck. Oh, sorry, got a little distracted. Oh, here we go, gonna push across, nice and set. Stop to the face, sick. One timer went wide. 
Is Connor gonna get a good shot at that? Yep, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's why we're here for my confidence. Some wild movement going. Blind squirrel finds a nut every once in a while. Good shot, that's a good shot. Okay, maybe I could have done something about that, but you gotta tip the hat sometimes. That's not good. Solid finish. I wish I could say I was all Swedish. No finish, but I'm neither. You want some water? Oh, you got some? Did you bring water? Oh, good. Holy cow. What a skate, man. All right, well, pretty solid skate this morning. Gonna head over and grab a bite to eat before I head home, and then, man, I'm, I'm shutting it down for a nap for sure. So catch you after the nap. Honestly, pretty zonked after that nap, but Getting things going here. We still got to pack up the bag again. Hopefully it's all dry after uh, that morning skate, which man, I absolutely love. I love being able to jump on the ice with a guy like Dino and uh, you know, working on skill work. And he's so good at putting drills together that are so beneficial for me and himself. And you know, had a lot of fun this morning doing that. But like I said, hopefully my stuff is, is dry enough to pack up and get ready for this game. But before I, I head out, I, I like to do a little Sensorino warm up. Just something that I, I've been doing before games for a while now. And, you know, I ended up doing a, a warm up with Sense Arena before I got dressed with the Colorado Avalanche a couple years ago. And um, it was perfect. I had just finished my uh, Sense Arena warm up and then I got the call that I needed to go uh, get dressed for the abs. So it's a nice warm up that kind of gets me in the, the mentality that I'm, you know, serving a purpose. I'm not just going to a game because, you know, you can get pretty complacent going to all these games throughout the year. And, um, you know, it kind of gets me in that, that mindset that um, I could potentially go play. And, you know, if I do get that call, then at least I'm, at least I'm mentally prepared. But yeah, gonna knock out a little sense arena warm up here and then we're gonna head out and go pick up Jason before we head over to the arena and catch warm ups. So that'll be really good. I'm really excited about warm ups. I love watching Marc Andre Fleury play. So uh, it'll be nice catching him in warm ups. And then I don't know who's starting tonight. So if, man, if I get to see Marc Andre Fleury play again tonight, I've seen him so many times this year and it's, it's an absolute treat. And of course, like watching UC Soros play, However many times I've seen him this year, man, I'm so spoiled. Should be a good game either way. Last game for me this season. Preds only have one more game tomorrow night, of course, against Colorado. But unfortunately, I won't be going to that game. I'll be uh, I'll be at work all day. So yeah, let's get things going here and let's go pick up Jason and uh, head down to the rink to serve as uh, tonight's emergency goal. So we're pulling up the Jason's house. Let's go get him. Let's go get that boy. Hey, bro. Hey. You want to go to a Preds game? Yeah. All right, headed to the game tonight. I actually have a couple questions for you. Ooh, let's go. You're probably not prepared for these. One of them's like pretty cool. It's a cool question. Second one's a little controversial. Ooh. Are you ready for this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready. Uh, first question. Are we doing a podcast together? Yes, we are. We are doing a podcast called the... Wait, am I allowed to say the name? Yeah, dude, it's... Yeah, absolutely. It's called the the KifCast, and yeah, we're um, we're about to blast this thing off into outer space. Outer space? Uh, okay, second question. This one's like, like I said, maybe a little controversial. If you don't want to answer it, you don't have to. Which goalie do you like better, me or Kaz? You have to answer right now. Oh! <laughs> Is there a third option? Can I jump, like, jump out of a moving car? <laughs> Well, Jason's not going to the game tonight. He just jumped out of a moving car. <laughs> We're almost to the rink. We're going to go watch warm-ups. Hopefully, Marc-Andre Fleury is starting tonight because I absolutely love him. Ooh. Hopefully, he fights someone tonight. Dude, if he gets in a fight tonight... What if he fights, like, like a player? I know that's not how it would go, but what if he did? What if he fights a fan? Dude. Marc-Andre Fleury... I can't even say. I'm not going to say that. Marc-Andre Fleury does not fight a fan tonight. <laughs> fight a fan. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get into the rink here and... 
have a great game. Let's serve as an emergency goal. You're my backup backup. Dude, I'm actually pretty down for that. Nashville Preds organization, if you guys need me to get out there, break some hips, catch some pucks, I will do it. I will do what needs to be done. I am a warrior. Well, you heard it here first. Jason is a warrior. Uh, let's get into this game, dude. Let's go Let's go catch warm and watch this whole game and uh, be an emergency goal. Which, uh, which one do you want? Last night we lived on the Hickory Tower. Okay. We're late for one so we gotta go. Oh, shoes are permanente. All right, warm-ups are over. That was pretty sick. Always fun to watch Mark andre Fleury. He usually goes pretty hard in warm-ups. Jason, what do we think of warm-ups? Warm-ups looked great. UC looked great. Mark andre Fleury looked good, but he's not starting, so... Minnesota's done for the night, I think. Bold statement. All right, now we're going to head over, uh, get my ritualistic grilled cheese. I'm going to be honest, I get a grilled cheese every game. Go to the same place, get the pesto mozzarella. It is incredible, so... We're going to grab that before the game starts, and then we'll get uh, things going here. All right, grilled cheese done. Let's get back to the game. Jason, why are you laughing? This is not funny. This is very serious. I'm an emergency backup guy. Well In the first period, things were off to a great start for the pros. They were able to get a quick goal and maintain some serious offensive pressure. Imagine how intense this period was for Gustafson. I even snuck over to a seat behind the net to get a better look at all the action. Oh, hey guys. The Preds gave this goalie plenty of work in the first, so it was pretty cool to see him make save after save to keep his team in it. All right, that wraps up the first period. Preds are up 2-1, out shooting the Minnesota Wild. They're looking pretty solid right now. Pretty solid first period. Cruising through at first intermission. I like to take a few laps, kind of get the legs going, and then uh, we'll get back into the second period here and see how things turn out. It'd be cool if I could just like take this stuff home, but uh, I can't. With 
team switching sides, it's always awesome to get a closer look at you see go to work. On the other end though, the Preds still maintain the pressure they had in the first. kept pushing back and we're finally rewarded with the game tying goal before the end of the period. Kind of a uh, kind of scary up here. Well, that's going to do it for the second period. The Preds are still out shooting the Minnesota Wild, but the score is currently two to two. Uh, getting ready to go into the third period. Getting into the second intermission here. Going to continue my lap, keep the legs moving, uh, feeling nice and fresh, just in case we uh, get the call. You never know. And uh, we'll see you in the third period. As the game continued, things mostly remain the same with Gustafson being put to work. Oh, collisions like this always grab my attention, but luckily UC was okay, and the Preds would eventually take the lead with a goal, but the lead would be very short-lived. third here. How has this period gone so far? Listen, around six and a half minutes left of the half, we thought the Predators had it locked in the bag. But then, 60 short seconds later, the Minnesota Wild scored again, pushing this game to sudden death overtime. Back to you, Dustin. Wow, that was actually really good. That's the end of the third period. We are still tied at three, going into overtime here. So, uh, kind of a dramatic last game here. Um, pretty excited to get a little bonus hockey before we call it a night and uh, call it a season for myself. So, uh, let's see how things look going into overtime.
Preds are going to be here again tomorrow, like I said, playing the Colorado Avalanche. And, um, you know, hopefully it'll be a cool wrap to their season and um, we can look forward to stuff next year. So uh, thanks for watching. And as always, we'll see you around. Actually, it's not cool. I would have much. Oh, shit, I know these guys. Thunderstruck.